Hey guys, how you doing? It's Livy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am returning with a tutorial for Nicki Minaj's look in her latest music video for Right By My Side with Chris Brown, Sea Breezy. The Breezy Sea. Huh. It's a really simple makeup look and I actually thought it would be quite a useful makeup tutorial to do in general simply because it is such a generic look, you know, the whole winged liner. You can either do pink lips, you could do it with red lips. Red lips would look stunning, actually. So, yeah, I just hope you enjoy the tutorial, and if you want to know how to do this bad boy, then stay tuned. Starting with foundation, I'm using Max Matchmaster. I use the palest shade ever, and I'm applying it with a damp beauty blending sponge. This foundation goes on really well if the sponge is damp, not quite so well if it's dry, so get that sponge wet, people. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm just blending that out all over my skin, making sure it's nice and even. Now, I like to do the lips first because I'm weird. So the one I'm actually using is a pout polish from Sleek, and this is in the shade Frosting. Yes, Frosting. It's basically a bubblegummy pink. And I'm going to pop that down first because it's going to moisturise and give a little bit of colour. And then what I'm going to do after I've finished applying this is take a lipstick from MAC in the shade Love Lawn. And all it's going to do is just deepen the colour a little bit. See? Look how nice it looks. Anyway, it's eyebrow time, so what I'm going to do is use Max Charcoal Brown Shadow with an angled brush. And what I'm going to do is fill in the brows, I'm going to make them nice and straight at the front, following my natural brow line obviously, but for some reason her music video, her eyebrows are quite ashy, so this is the nearest shade I could use, but it's going to look quite dark on my skin because I'm very, very pale. Anyway, I'm just going to work with my natural brow shape and create a little angle, but making sure that the front is nice and straight up. Can you see that? I hope so anyway, but this shadow does make them look a little bit ashy. Just drag the tail out as well, make them a little longer than normal. Maybe her eyebrows are ashy because she's sporting that fetching blonde wig. I have no idea, but anyway, on to blush. I'm using a blush called... Make Me Blush from Look Beauty in shade 5 on a Sigma powder brush. It's just a basic pink blush, you can use any one you want, doesn't really matter. And what I'm doing is sort of taking off the excess with my beauty blender so it just looks natural. And now I'm going to be putting on some concealer as my eyeshadow base because we're not really using very much shadow. This is actually a really basic look, so I'm just popping some concealer on by Becca. I'm just putting that all over my lids and I'm actually going to pop a little underneath and I'm also pushing it all the way up to the brow bone which you may or may not have seen. <laughs> anyway, for the eyeshadow, the first one, I'm using a shade from the Heaven and Earth palette by MUA, and it's a nice light shade. It's the champagne -y one that I'm showing right here, and for some reason the colour in the video has gone squiffy. Anyway, I'm popping that on using my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Just put it all over the lid. You don't really have to be precise with it. Just make sure it's a light, sort of paler shadow. And I'm popping that underneath as well. And then for a bit of definition, I'm using the shade Kid, that's an eyeshadow from MAC, it's matte, and I'm using the same brush, and I'm applying it above my crease, because for some reason she's changed the look of her eye shape. So I'm applying it above my crease and making my eyes look a little more hooded than normal. It's not very dark anyway, it's just for a little bit of excess definition, you know, extra definition, extra depth. That's literally all the eyeshadow needed. And now on to eyeliner. I'm using a liquid one from Rimmel, which I didn't show you for some stupid reason. But you want to use a black one. You can use any sort of liquid liner as long as it's runny enough to sort of give you a shiny look afterwards. Can you see on the one on the left, it leaves a slightly shiny finish. Anyway, create a winged line. So start from the very beginning of your eye, the inner corner, and drag out and then create a little wing on the side. Can you see? Like that. Draw a little line and then create a wing and connect it all together. And it should look like that. You want to make the line reasonably thick because you're putting on some falsy eyelashes, so you want to be able to see the liner. It doesn't really matter which false lashes you use, but make sure you apply them really far out. So don't put them from the corner of your eye out. Like start at the middle and then go out because they're really far on the outside. And then just blend your natural lashes in with some mascara and leave the bottom ones clean, there's nothing underneath and it should end up looking like that. Yeah boy! And that's it! I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Really simple look, really lovely. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Have a great day! Bye bye!